So, yesterday I was doing a meditation. I was doing a memory regression meditation and throughout this meditation, I stumbled upon something which could potentially give you guys the ability to notice throughout your childhood when you may have picked up negative habits, okay? For example, I went back into a memory where I remembered watching somebody else, a child in nursery, snatch a toy from another child in nursery, right? And obviously he was angry. But I also remembered what I was feeling at the time. At first I was feeling numb, void, I didn't feel anything until I came into close proximity with the child who was angry. I felt his anger into my body as if it imprinted and left some sort of content, a template, if you will, an emotional template, which was later on used within my life. Not too long after that, I found myself remembering a memory of when I was a child again, and I wanted a toy so bad, but this other kid had it, and then I got angry and I took the toy off of the other kid. Now, during this meditation, I remembered feeling the same feeling that I felt off of the other child that was some distance away from me, okay? Feeling information from my distance. My subconscious mind had done what it had previously done throughout the younger years of my life, from ages one to eight, mainly is when you're most susceptible to learning so fast, therefore you're most impressionable. My subconscious mind naturally learned things from my surroundings without me even being aware of it, picking up such aggression, you know, such a, a, a unlikable, unattractive behavior as a kid, you know? I'm gonna call this emotional impressioning, okay? The reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of people have been asking me within my inbox, hey Ryan, where do you get your information from? Hey Ryan, how can I Google it to get more information about the topic that you had previously discussed in your YouTube videos? To which I say, I don't think you can. Everything that I'm learning on my YouTube channel is of a direct result of what I'm learning or what I'm pulling from my subconscious mind. The observation of my past experiences and my psychology. So let's look at some other examples of emotional impression. Saying no to a child. Okay, I remember seeing my dad and seeing him say no to me when I was hungry, when I wanted to go out, when I wanted to do pretty much anything. He would say no and point his finger, incredibly angry. And again, I'd feel this emotional energy. And then when my younger brother was born, I found myself, not only to my younger brother, but also to people who were younger than me, saying no to them because I have now adopted that emotional template, which sets me up for a preparation of sorts when it comes to me knowing what to do or how to express myself in similar circumstances. Worrying, whenever I saw my mum demonstrate the fact that she had no control over something, I would then become worried when I found myself also having no control over anything. Listening. When I was in school, they would often host assemblies and most of the time people would start speaking about stuff that I just didn't want anything to do with. But just being in a room around people that was focusing and listening at the people on stage, that actually swayed my decision making, causing me to pay attention during that assembly. And, you know, I've utilized this within my adulthood. I've said this in a previous video, where I'd usually walk into a room where everyone's working and then I'd put my stuff down and work in that room because that's where all the focus is. Whereas if I was to go into the cafeteria and start working, you can put money on it. I'm going to be distracted in some way or another. Heck, even making my first friend was an emotional imprint. I'll let you guys figure that one out on your own. But you can see how this could play a huge role in your decision making as you get older. We actually carry this emotional baggage throughout our entire life, which dictates our actions to some degree. And it makes you wonder, do you think that you're actually in control here? If all of your attributes, your characteristics, your decision making is based on a template of somebody else. Yeah. So that's going to be about do it for this video. I'm Ryan JC also known as Ryan James Cropper. This has been your potential. And again, this is just a handful of impressionable 
experiences within my life, there have been many others which I have yet to discuss on camera. I'll let you guys do the work and sit through your mind and really find those moments within your life where you can now choose to do the opposite thing. Because now you're conscious of it, you can choose once you get to that memory that, hey, I don't want to act in this way. I don't want to use that emotional energy or just noticing the fact that the energy came from someone else. The emotional influence is enough to detach from the energy because now you see that it's not your energy in the first place. So now there's literally no reason for you to hold on to it. After you make that realization, once you start tracing these incremental moments, these specific life-changing events, then you'll be able to unlearn what you have learned and become something new, more original, less influenceable. This is a part of the parent programming, mainly because you spend most of the time with your parents. And it's not their fault, they don't know what they're doing. So you can't blame them for their behavior. I'm Ryan JC, this is going to be about do it. If you need some help on how to do the memory regression, I have courses available on my website, ryancopper.com. And I'll speak to you guys very soon.